hello in this video we are going to install our first ionic native plugin which is the geolocation plugin now with the geolocation plugin we can get the devices uh, coordinates like the longitude and the latitude and with that information we can use it to obtain the current weather data from the open weather map api but before we install the geolocation uh, api or the plugin we need to run our server so that we can see how it looks on the browser now i'm going to open up my terminal and navigate into the project so i'll cd then into the project now inside the project you need to run ionic serve if you run ionic serve outside of the project it's going to throw an error now to start the server we just run the command ionic serve then you can either run ionic serve hit enter or if you want to make use of the ionic labs that is you want to view your project on ionic labs then you add, need to add the dash l flag so with this dash l flag i'll hit enter it's going to open up the project in or using the ionic labs so right here as you can see i have the dev server running and if i go to the browser it automatically opened the uh, page on the browser or once you have your server running if you are running just ionic serve without the dash l flag you can visit this port localhost colon 8100 then forward slash ionic dash lab now it's going to open it up in this view now if you don't want to use this ionic lab view then you can just run localhost then you add 8100 if you hit enter this is how the page is going to look like if you are not making use of the ionic uh, lab so we are going to use this mostly now as you can see if i go back to the terminal you can see we've seen that it runs on port 8100 and we have the dev server running if i go back to the browser right here this is how the page looks like we have the home page then we have the tab now inside the tab we have the home and also we have the list now we are going to delete this list we are not going to make use of this list every page we are going to use in this application we are going to create them from scratch now if i click on this it's just going to increment but we don't need this so if i go back to the home page i can toggle now this uh side menu is added inside the app.component.ts so let's see that if i open my project right here inside the source then app open up the app.component.ts now this is where you have the side menu now for your applications mostly the side menus will be added or used inside this app.component.ts but if you want to create a new page to hold the side menu you can do that then you later have to move all of these codes into that page we are not going to do that right now we are going to leave the side menu the way it is maybe later when we are refactoring the codes we can then move the codes from this app.component.ts into a menu page so if we go through this first let's open the app.html now as you can see we have this aeon tie 2 which is what we have right here on the side menu here we have the tie 2 then we have this aeon content now inside the aeon content that is where every code displayed in the body of the page will be added inside the aeon content we have the aeon list we have the button later we are going to see how to add all of this if i go back to my app.component.ts you can see we have a pages array then inside the pages array we have this object with tie to then the component with the component name and also we have this method which is what we have here so if you click if i add a new page if i change this name to say something different to like menu then i hit save then the server is going to restart as you can see right here 
then open up the tab you can see now that the name has changed because we changed it from this array but we are not going to use it this way then also if i go into the pages folder we have the home page with home.html so everything you have here that is what is being displayed right here so if i change this to just ionic then let me take this one out hit save then go back to the browser right here you can see this is how it looks right now if i click on this drop down you can see we have three platforms we have the iphone android and the windows platform right now we can see we are only on the uh, viewing the android platform you can click this so we'll see how it looks on the iphone click on the side menu this is how it looks for iphone and this is also how it looks on android we can do the same for windows as well so wait for it to load then i click here so you can see this is how it looks on android iphone and the windows machine so right now we have it running on the browser what we need to do now is to install the ionic native plugin for geolocation now to install that let's visit ionic framework so ionicframework.com now here on this page we are going to see the different native plugins that are available in ionic that we can use in our application also we are going to see how to use the ui components and also how to use the different apis so if we click on this developers you can see we have the ui components the api reference and the native plugins also if you want to get some development uh, resources like some tutorials you can click on these dev resources you are going to see some tutorials on how to get started and how to build some applications using the ionic framework but for now we are going to click on this native plugins we want to use our first ionic plugin in our application now right here on the left as i showed you in the last section we have these different plugins that can be used or we can add into our application now we have the plugin for 3d touch our browser usage adding admob to the application we also have like the to get background location we have different apis if you want to implement braintree payments gateway to your application we have the native plugin for it we you want to create a calendar application you have the plugin you want to create maybe a video application where you can use the camera this is it so we have different applications or different plugins that can be used in our ionic application but the uh, plugin we are going to use now is the geolocation plugin you can either search for it right here geolocation here you can see we have the background geolocation and the geolocation the one we want to use is this geolocation so that we can get the current location of the mobile device so if i click here or just scroll down somewhere here you can just search for it here you can see we have geolocation here as well so if i click on this now it's going to open the page show us how we can add and make use of this geolocation plugin now if you're on this page for the geolocation plugin it says this plugin provides information about the device's location such as latitude and longitude now we want to get this latitude and longitude if i visit the open weather map api i showed you that we can get weather data using coordinates so let's scroll down somewhere here here you can see by geographical coordinates we can make api calls using the latitude and longitude if we know them so what we want to do right here is to use this plugin to get the uh, coordinates or the latitude and longitude of our device then with that we can use it to make the api call to this um, open weather map so now what we need to do is we need to install two plugins first we need to install the cordova plugin and also we need to install the ionic native geolocation plugin so if i increase this here zoom in 
you can see first says install the Cordova and Ionic native plugins. So I can either do it inside my terminal here or I'm going to just open a new terminal for using Node.js command terminal. So let me just clear this. Then navigate into my project. So then then cd into weather ionic so right now i'm inside the project to install the plugins first i'm going to add this ionic cordova plugin add cordova plugin geolocation now if you are using uh, uh, a previous version like version 2 and version 1 of ionic but i believe we are using the latest version of uh, the ionic and cordova uh, platforms so if you're using the previous version of ionic you just need to call a cordova plugin you don't need to add ionic but now if you're using ionic version 3 and upward you just need to copy this we don't need to add this variable geolocation usage just copy ionic cordova plugin then add we add the name of the plugin so i'll just copy this open my terminal then right here, I'm going to paste it. So I'll paste this here. So this is the plugin name, Cordova Plugin Geolocation. So I'll hit enter. I'll wait for this to install. So right here, the installation is complete. I have installed the Cordova plugin for the Cordova Plugin Geolocation. Now the next thing I need to do, let me go back to the documentation, is to install the Ionic Native Geolocation. So I can just copy this out from here, copy, then go back to my terminal. Let me clear this. Then I'll add the npm install at ionic native forward slash geolocation with a dash dash save flag. So I will hit enter. Now this is going to install the ionic native geolocation plugin into our project because we are adding this save flag to it. Now I have the Ionic Native Geolocation plugin installed as well. So if I go back to the documentation, we have the Cordova plugin installed, also the Ionic Native plugin installed inside our project. Now the next thing we need to do is to add this plugin to your apps module. Now if you recall, I said whenever you install any Cordova plugin, it adds it adds it to the Cordova uh, the config.sml file. But now for the Ionic native, we need to add it to our app.modules.ts file. Just as it says here, add this plugin to your app's module. Now let's go to our project. I can close this, close this one as well, then close this. Now, whenever you install any new Ionic native plugin. You must add it into your app.module.ts file otherwise you are going to get an error or you can't make use of the module itself so we have the geolocation module or plugin installed so if we go first let's open up our node underscore modules folder here inside the node underscore modules we have the at ionic dash native folder so if I open it, you can see we have the geolocation module. We have the splash screen that was added when we created our project. The status bar that was added as well when we created our project. Then the core was added as well when we created our project. But the one we just installed is this geolocation uh, plugin. So if I open index.d.ts, so you can see. We have different interfaces inside of this uh, file. Now, what we need to add is this geolocation. So let me close this. Here, I'm going to import geolocation from at ionic dash native, then forward slash geo location so 
with this now we've imported the geolocation plugin into our app.module.ts but we still need to do one more thing we need to add it into our providers so down here you can see we have different uh keys inside the ng module uh, objects like declarations if you create a new page you add it into the declarations if you import any angular module you add it into imports if any um page that is added to declarations you also add it to entry components then for ionic native or any uh, provider that is created inside our project will be added into this providers array so right here i'm going to add geo location so now with this we've added the geo location plugin and also added it into our providers array right now i'm going to end this video here in the next video we are going to see how we can use this geo location plugin to get uh, the latitude and longitude of our devices current location